Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today for our webinar in which we're going to be presenting our new VOCA conversational I I IVR application for Microsoft Teams. My name is Daniel Ray, I'm a marketing manager at Audio Codes and I'll be the moderator of today's event. Today's speakers are going to be Yossi Zada, the VP of the OVOC and ARM uh, business line and senior VOCA product manager here at Audio Codes, Giddy Adelsberg, who's the business development manager for voice AI applications at Audio Codes, and Elad Sananes, who's the VOCA product manager. Before we get started, just a few housekeeping items. To help things move along smoothly today, we're going to be keeping all your lines on mute, but we still want to give you the chance to make this an interactive event, and we encourage you to post your comments and questions in the Q&A tab at the, at the top of the screen. To submit a question, just click on the Q&A button at the top of the screen and enter your question. We'll do our best to answer as many of your questions as we can during the session. And then we're going to send a full list of questions and answers in a follow up email that will be sent out in a few days time. That email will also include a link to the complete webinar recording. Uh, soon later today um, or in the next few hours, we'll also be sending out a link uh, to everyone who attended the webinar to give you a, to, to give you a chance to try out the application for yourselves. Um, so look out for that in your inboxes. And now I'm going to hand over to Yossi to start the webinar. Over to you, Yossi. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining. Uh, 25 years ago, I watched a documentary about an NBA legend. No, not the one you are thinking of. And one of the things that I remember the most from this interview is the one question the reporter asked the NBA uh, legend. The question was, how do you choose a girlfriend? The NBA legend smiled and said, as long she knows how to set my video cassette recorder, she passed. In today's politically correct and me too reality, such comments will not be acceptable, of course. And even if we will judge it with the innocent mind that we had 25 years ago, it still sounds wrong. So why I'm Am I mentioning this? 25 years ago, setting your video cassette recorder to record at a specific time required a set of unique skills not many possessed. Today, my two, two years old granddaughter naturally takes my smartphone and with few graceful and adorable, if I may say, clicks, she starts watching her favorite Johnny Johnny Yes Papa episode. And even she knows how to quickly skip the ads. Dump proofing technology and turning it into something that easy to operate. It is not just found in our cell phone or TV uh, streamers. Just a few years ago, before unified communication collaboration systems, unified uh, communication collaboration systems took over our day to day work it took ages to set up a conference call. A video conference was utter nightmare that never actually worked. And we spent half our day trying to set up a collaboration session with remote teams. Even though it seems like we got it all covered and simply uh, simplicity hits every technology, uh, technological pain, we still have some organizational systems that were left behind. Such an example is the IVR. Once an IT telephony expert set them up, they remain untouched. Just like recording from the VCR back in days, changing IVR prompts, adding languages, and editing flows seems to require much energy and valuable time. It needs experts. Due to the cumbersome configuration, the organization front, front yard, or may I say voice storefront, is actually neglected. Well, if the organizations had to choose partners like NBA legend, choose their girlfriends, 25 years ago, audio codes should be everyone's crush. Uh, crush. With VOCA, audio codes conversion, conver, conversational IVR, native Microsoft Teams applications, managing your conversational IVR is simple as skipping ads on YouTube. 
With intuitive app, IT managers can quickly and easily create and edit call flows, upload and record prompts, define rule-based access and actually have fun while doing it. And now I will hand over to Gidi and Elad to show you how to set up a conversational IVR in less than five minutes. Enjoy. Okay, so thank you, Yossi. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We have quite a few guests today, which is great. Um, I'd like to kick us off by showing you a quick one minute promo of our Voca for Teams application. So I'm just going to play it. Okay, so today is definitely a special one for us. We're very excited and proud to be launching today the first ever application from Audio Codes going live on the Worldwide Team Store. Unlike the usual webinars, we have just a few slides to show you and we're planning to dedicate most of the time to the actual application and get hands-on, giving you all a first taste of what we have to offer in this brand new experience. I have a question for the audience. Who said that Teams will one day be as revolutionary as the entire internet? So I bet at least some of you are thinking, and rightfully so, thinking of Satya Nadella. And remember, this is the guy who turned Microsoft to become the most dominant player in enterprise technology today as we know it. Now, Teams might not be as big as the internet, I'm not sure we can even measure how big the internet really is, but nonetheless, it will for sure be our new desktop. I want to tell you about something that uh, happened uh, last week. So last week, uh, when I was I was chatting on the Teams app on my iPhone and I was preparing for an, an internal webinar for our sales and account teams. And all of a sudden, a banner came up on the Teams um, on my Teams mobile application and it, it invited me to invite my family and friends to Teams. I said to myself, friends and family to Teams? Really? Apparently, the answer is a big yes. I clicked uh, this uh, banner and the screen, this uh, screenshot right here is, is what I saw. I believe this is a clear testimony and evidence to where Microsoft is going with Teams and just how serious they are when it comes to Teams. So last week in that sales webinar, I said that in my eyes, it seems like Teams for Enterprise and Workspace is just the start of a huge move to what I called a collaboration-based people-centric operating system. For Enterprise IT, of course, which is um, most of our audience here, this presents huge opportunities, which uh, I believe we cannot even imagine these days so early in the Teams evolution. So after that webinar last week that we did for the sales in some kind of magical timing, Microsoft released this announcement just one day later. In the heart of this announcement, as you can see, is the integration between Microsoft Teams and Windows 11. Teams will be, uh, you know, you, you can see how, how, the, how they called it on, on the verge. They said Teams will be right in the taskbar and we can actually see it in the in the Microsoft uh, uh, screenshots. So it will be in the center of Windows 11. It, it will be available for home and professional users at once. Now, I just want to make it clear for everybody. We are talking about a potential growth from 145 million team users to 1.5 billion Windows users who will have immediate access to teams with this move. This is simply an incredible move by Microsoft and 
take a look at this, that screenshot on the bottom right that I, I included here. Um, look at what Microsoft is trying to show us. We see a Michael Kang that asks us about notes from work. Then we see a family chat, okay, a family group chat that we typically know from WhatsApp. And we even see a mom's birthday as a Teams event. So I think uh, Microsoft is trying to tell us here, this is going to be your new way of, of communication, whether you're an employee or a Windows Home users, or of course, both. Now, of course, all the major uh, SaaS and software players are already well uh, in the Teams game, as, as you can see. Uh, I can tell you that when we visited the Microsoft Israel HQs a few days, a few weeks ago, they shared data about 3.5 million monthly active users on the Teams app. And that is again out of the 145 million Teams user, users uh, overall. And look at the names here. We see Poly, we see Cisco, we see Zoom, we see Adobe. Even Kahoot, the trivia game, it's just a trivia game. They thought it was so important for them to build a native application for Teams. And I don't know if you realize the biggest Microsoft, comp the biggest competitors of Microsoft are right here. When we see WebEx for Teams, when we see Zoom for Teams, I guess the Teams dominance is really as clear as it gets. So what does it take to make a great application for Teams? Well, first, it must be simple. It needs to be quick. It's 2021 and our time is precious. It needs to be easy for easy to use and it needs to provide us with a clear value, of course, an actionable value, which hopefully comes straight from uh, the first few moments of using the app. And of course, by putting it on the team store we're, and you know, you, you're making sure that uh, it's, it's very easily scalable. And that's exactly what we did when we uh, added uh, and, and today launching the VOCA conversational IVR application for Teams. And the great thing about it is that as of now, anyone in the world who has Teams can go ahead and use it. Now, as many, uh, many of our guests here, I, I, I believe are new to VOCA, I'd like to talk a bit about what it does and what are the great advantages of using an IVR with an upgraded conversational voice-driven experience. So as you know, most IVRs today are the good old press one, you know, welcome to company X, press one for this and that, press two for that and so on. And this is quite painful for the callers. It requires special attention and focus. It can get quite complex and tedious. And it's also quite limiting for the actual company behind that IVR or voice storefront as Yossi called it. Now, each and every one of you has an IVR, and if you don't, you know what it can, what an IVR can do for you. Now, some of you are wondering what happens with my IVR on Teams. Is there a good IVR for Teams? Some of you also know about Nuance going end of life with their auto attendant solution. So you need something that solves your Teams IVR problem as easy as possible. And VOCA gives you just that with the great added value of voice. When we upgrade the IVR to a conversational voice-driven experience, callers, of course, they enjoy the great benefits of being able to talk their way through the call from start to finish. And of course, it's much more intuitive and easy, but not only. The conversational IVR also changes the game in terms of the actual IVR tree or menu and how the users are uh, engaging with it. So first and foremost, by using a conversational IVR, uh, th the company can uh, make a unlimited amount of destinations available through it because we are not limited anymore by the 10 digits that, digits that we have on the keypad. Secondly, because the caller is invited to say what it is that they need, the callers become pretty specific about their requests and that is of course great news for us as it allows us to transfer to route the call exactly to to the right place so in voca we provide companies and businesses of various industries 
a conversational IVR service that sits on the company's main line, answers calls from customers or any other kind of external callers, and invite them to say what it is that they need. And VOCA will interpret that voice request and route the call accordingly uh, to a department, a contact person, or a branch. Of course, internal users or employees within the company can also use VOCA to easily uh, place calls. Uh, this is especially handy for large companies or companies where people might be spending plenty of time on the go. For these kind of employees, having that one number that they can call to for anything that they need in the company is extremely helpful. Of course, uh, in VOCA, we also support Touchstone or DTMF IVRs as fallbacks within the conversational uh, call flow or for cases where a company would like to stick to the classic IVR experience knowing that the conversational option is, of course, always um, readily available. Um, and in the heart of the VOCA solution is our management interface, which is now also part of our new Teams application. From there, any service configuration, call flow design, management of contacts and departments, Active Directory Sync, reports, analytics, everything is done through this interface. And the great thing about it is that we made sure that this interface is super easy and intuitive to work with. So we are very proud that to manage VOCA on an ongoing basis, you don't need to be a technical expert. I can tell you that in many of our deployments, after the initial setup, uh, the reception desk team is the one who actually manages VOCA on a day-to-day -day basis, which is of course great news for the super busy IT departments uh, that are out there these days. Uh, another thing with VOCA is that we support multiple languages, and I will definitely talk about that uh, uh, more in depth soon. And uh, lastly, being an audio code solution, we can pretty much uh, connect to anything, any type of, uh, of phone system, PBX, be it, be, uh, be it analog or IP, contact center platforms. Um, we can even connect directly to SIP trunks and even make VOCA available right from a web browser. We use WebRTC click to call buttons to make the conversational IVR available from any website in just one click. And we can also connect, of course, we can also connect to any UC that is out there, including Zoom phone and others. But of course, today we are here to focus on what we can do for Microsoft Teams. Now, to talk a bit about uh, voice recognition and the, the language support that we have in VOCA. So back in the days, it took us quite some time to add a new language to, for, uh, to VOCA. And with the rise of conversational AI technologies, um, our connection and integration with Microsoft Cognitive Services really cha changed the game. Take a look at this uh, slide. I can tell you that we grew from four to 12 languages supported in this new release, covering some very, uh, very significant markets and, and regions. And of course, given business opportunities and customer requests, we're more than happy to support even more languages. We even added a section within our app where users can request additional language support. So we, we would, would be able to listen in and respond to, to your needs. Uh, please also note that any uh, Azure related cost, subscription, et cetera, are on us coming directly from audio codes pre-bundled in the VOCA pricing. So customers as well as service providers, uh, none of you need to worry about any third party subscriptions or costs. Uh, you get one single working solution from audio codes and we take, care of, we take care of everything for you. We took this even as far as being able to deploy these languages and this technology on premise and only go out to the cloud for the actual speech to text. And we do plan to add support for these languages coming from Azure uh, for on-prem using containers uh, that's that's coming up in the in the near future. Uh, I, I, I want to go over some very important uh, technical highlights that uh, probably matter to most of you uh, just before you you see the real thing in action. So first and foremost uh, is a very flexible deployment model where we can we can do cloud or on AWS or Azure as well as on-prem. For Teams deployments, we are using Azure. Um, secondly, we can definitely connect to any type of phone system other than your Teams. So let's say you have, a, you have multiple locations or maybe you're a service provider with multiple end customers 
and not all of your locations or not all of your customers are using Teams. Maybe they have some kind of a hybrid environment where some, you know, some locations are maybe use Teams, but maybe uh, other locations use a Cisco, for example. With Voca, the great thing is that you can still have the same Voca service connected to all of those phone systems at once. So we are very flexible in terms of what we can uh, connect to uh, and, and all in parallel. For Teams deployments, we just leverage the existing direct, direct routing SBC. So we don't require any additional uh, infrastructure or change in the Teams voice uh, architecture. Another very important point to make is that we are a multi-tenant service, which is great for larger enterprises with multiple sites where uh, each location can have its own tenant. It's also great for service providers who can manage, who can, with Voca, can manage multiple end customers under the same Voca service. And of course, each of these tenants may have its own protected and restricted access to managing it using role-based credentials. Lastly, as you'll soon see, with Voca, you can use any phone number as an IVR destination for contact departments and so on. So Voca uses PSTN or internal extension numbers to be able to route calls. In case you have a, so in case you have a Teams contact uh, or a Teams response group or, or a call queue that is associated with a phone number, Voca can definitely route calls to these kind of destinations as well. With that being said, I believe it's time to see the real thing. So I, I would like to pass the ball to Elad Sananes, the Voca product manager, to show you uh, our new application. Hi again, everybody. Thank you for joining us and thank you, Gidi. Well, it was uh, very informative. And uh, let me share my screen and let's go to the real thing. OK, uh, I want to take uh, one step back and talk with you about the reason for doing this app. Our most important uh, motivation was to provide the user uh, the ability to create and understand what is a conversational IVR without any background technical experience. Uh, let's stop talking and let's see how the real life look with this app. Uh, so now we'll add the Voca uh, to my client, to my team's client. So. I just go to the app uh, section and search for Voca. Let's add the Voca conversational IVR. So what you are seeing here is our new onboarding wizard. And the power of this wizard is that it allow anybody, even people who are not the technical expert to build a conversational IVR in just a few minutes. After this wizard, uh, there is what we call a Voca advanced mode, which is essentially the full Voca solution within Teams. And I will show you that more in depth later. And uh, you will also uh, see in this app uh, that we are letting each user to build up to 20 IVRs. The reason for that is that we may have customer with a multiple location where each location needs to have his own IVR. Uh, this is also very handy for a service provider, for example, that would like to show Voca to their end customer and every end customer can have his own uh, dedicated IVR managed by the service provider. So let's sign up and create a new IVR to show you how it looks like. Um, so immediately after we sign up to the app, um, all we need to do is just choosing our country and naming our first IVR. So in that case, let's call it webinar. And submit. As you can see in this step, OK, that uh, in this step of the wizard, we are letting the user to choose between the classic uh, touchstone DTMF and conversational voice driven IVR. Of course, we prefer the user to try out the conversational IVR, but we still have the touchstone uh, IVR for users who still want to experience the classic IVR functionality with no voice recognition involved. And of course, here, uh, 
try to guess. I will choose the conversational IVR. And here, uh, like Gidi said before, you can see the different languages that uh, currently available for Evoca. Uh, the language selection will impact on the entire voice interface of the IVR, including the greetings, the prompt, and of course the actual voice recognition language. Um, so let's choose the English US at, at this moment. And in this screen, we will choose the country. Uh, from which the application would generate the phone number that will be attached to the IVR. In the end of the wizard, you will see that number very clearly, so it's important here to choose the country uh, to which you can dial to test your IVR. So let's choose uh, here the United States. And in my demo, I want to choose uh, New Jersey, for example. Okay, so now we, uh, we get to the IVR destination setup. Here, uh, I can add any department branches as an IVR destination. So, and let's add the marketing department. You see here that uh, we also uh, provide uh, suggestions uh, that the uh, user uh, might use. Uh, I can also set up destination for automated information here. Um, this is for cases where the caller just need to get some uh, basic information like uh, opening hours. And to illustrate that, uh, what is really means, let's create a destination that's called the navigation. And just click next. And in this screen, we can see all the destination that we have just uh, created. And now it's the time to add the destination number and aliases. So I'm going to add the phone number for each destination and add some uh, aliases. So let me pass the number for the finance uh, as well. Uh, marketing and for the marketing, I would like also to add alias for uh, digital marketing. Um, and for sales. And uh, now I believe uh, most of you are asking what are aliases? So actually this is one of the most important capabilities that we have in VOCA. As you can imagine, when VOCA system sits on the main line of a company or some public service, different callers are going to say different things, but most of them uh, meant to the same thing. For example, to reach the finance department, people might say things like billing. So by using aliases, you allow VOCA to learn those uh, different words or phrases uh, that caller uh, might be using. Um, for the navigation here, uh, for, uh, for the navigation information or any other piece of general information, VOCA can send a text message to the caller uh, mobile or provide information over automated voice prompt uh, within the VOCA call flow. In this example, let's go with the SMS option and put a WAZ link uh, to the audio codes uh, office in uh, New Jersey. So I would choose here SMS. And let's pass the Waze link. And I would like also to add alias for the navigation. It can be uh, only New Jersey. Um, the last thing uh, that we are going to do in this screen is to define the number for the operator. So operator is a big word, but this is mandatory. As within VOCA, we have the built-in fallbacks for cases where the caller might struggling how to communicate with VOCA. And in that way, VOCA always have a fallback option that is readily available. So same here, I will uh, put a number uh, for the operator in case of fallback. Uh, 
that I was struggling to communicate with the, the VOCA. And the last step uh, is to record the welcome greeting point, uh, prompt. So here we provide the two options. One is to record on demand uh, using the app or upload our custom uh, prompt. So I will use the, the record on demand and let's record. Hello and welcome to Audio Codes VOCA webinar. Okay, now I will finish with the configuration. And at this moment, now the system is generating the, the tenant and the environment and assigning the phone number to the specific uh, uh, tenant with the exact languages that we choose. And now the conversational IVR is ready to be tested. You can start dial and try it by yourself if you don't believe me that it work, or you can build your own uh, by downloading the app right now. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have a US number attached to the IVR uh, as we configured in the beginning of the wizard. So, and below it, we have a list of all destination that we have created for the IVR with their phone number and aliases. Uh, this provide the user a very nice recap of the IVR flow that allow them to test it very easily and they don't need to remember anything. And if you remember in the beginning, I've mentioned uh, the VOCA advanced mode. Uh, so you can see it here on the right side. Uh, the advanced mode can be accessed from this screen and provide the full VOCA uh, solution within Teams. Of course, our full capabilities like adding uh, contact names, active directory synchronization, viewing report and analytics, and of course, configuring the connection to the customer phone system uh, for the direct routing services. Uh, everything uh, uh, can be managed via the advanced mode. We, uh, if you are looking at the app, we choose uh, to keep it uh, very intuitive as possible and to provide a quick and easy test of what is a conversational IVR. And we leave the heavy stuff uh, for the advanced mode. Uh, one last thing that I would like to emphasize uh, regarding the app is from the moment that the user complete their first IVR, we activate a timer of 60 days. During the 60 days, the trial period uh, of the user is free to add and create additional IVR and of course edit the existing IVR or create additional uh, sophisticated uh, uh, IVRs uh, using the advanced mode. And after the 60 days, all of the IVR and the phone numbers uh, are disabled. Uh, and before I hand the ball back to Giddy, I would like uh, you to know that it really takes uh, to user a uh, five minute and I really mean five minutes even for a user that are not a technical expert in IVRs and especially in conversational IVRs. So uh, Giddy, uh, I think the floor is yours. Okay, thank you Elad. So uh, uh, just before we, we finish this, I'd like to cover uh, the three very easy ways in which you can uh, simply go ahead and add the, and add VOCA to your uh, Teams desktop uh, client. Um, one second, I, I now realize I didn't reshare my screen, so just give me a sec. There we go. Okay, so yeah, so as I said, three pretty easy ways of, of reaching the, the new VOCA application for Teams. One is quite trivial, just go to the Teams store and, and search for VOCA right here in the, in the search box. You will see the VOCA application um, coming up. The second way, just use Google, just type in VOCA conversational um, IVR. One of the first results you're going to see uh, is our listing on the Microsoft App Source with a Get It Now button that takes you directly to the Teams uh, application. And lastly is, is the good old way of just using a link 
uh, which uh, 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 you will you will get uh, later on. So you have these three ways. I did see a question. Uh, we're trying to answer the questions uh, in real time. Of course, uh, we will uh, answer um, more thoroughly after the webinar, but uh, I did see uh, questions uh, that for some users, when they search for VOCA, they don't see it. Uh, the, the reason for that is that your IT is probably blocking uh, some, some applications from uh, being added to your teams. So um, we just encourage you to, to go to your IT and uh, put VOCA on, on the whitelist as it's been uh, fully certified by, uh, by Microsoft, uh, checked and certified uh, by them. So to kind of um, close things, I wanted, I wanted to say we used to have two very major challenges with VOCA. The, the first one was how do we make VOCA a natural part of, of Teams voice? And secondly, how do we give our customers a super easy way of experiencing VOCA and what it can do for them? And we feel that with this new application and its onboarding experience that, that allowed, allowed, uh, showed you, we gave our customers and partners a great tool to learn about a conversational IVR solution firsthand. And through that, learn about all the great advantages that it brings to the table. So if you're looking for that go to IVR solution for teams, just go ahead and see it for yourself. I would like to thank everybody who joined us today and pass the ball back to Daniel for wrapping up this session. OK, thank you, Giddy, and thanks to Yossi and Elad for that uh, great, uh, fascinating session. Uh, on behalf of everyone at Audio Codes, I'd like to thank everyone for attending uh, this webinar today. And I just want to remind you all that everyone who registered for the webinar will receive an email in a few days time with a link to the recording, uh, the full uh, Q&A, the few quick questions and answers that were posed uh, during the session, as uh, as Giddy just mentioned, and the slide deck. And also, um, uh, before that, you'll all receive a link to download the application itself and to try it out for yourselves. Uh, if you have any more questions or thoughts you'd like to share with us, you're welcome to contact us uh, at Audio Codes directly. Thank you once again, and we look forward to having you all join us uh, in future events. Thank you, everyone, and have a good day. Bye-bye.